Hello, Stock Planner here, doing my due diligence and trying to look at strategic view of the week. Looking at SPY on the monthly. Each one of these bars is a monthly. And looked at the past recession. Started around 2008 and into 2009. And then we recovered. And it's been a long recovery. And dramatic as well. Now, around the first of the year, it looked like we have are swinging the other direction. Looking at the MACD. The MACD showed a crossover and so did the RSI and so did the stochastic all about the same time all leading to an up single when these occur all around the same time I call that the three indicator strategy this strategy is what I base my swings on I'm a swing trader trying to capture the major swings of the market and if I can can which I can't but if I could that would make some serious bank this is the zigzag indicator it's just a visual it repaints itself with future data, so you can't use it to trade. All you can do is use it to find indicators that may, may point you and predict the major swings. And so I've chose the MACD, the Castic RSI, and the RSI, which I like the best. And my settings are in the, in the description below. This is TradingView chart. It's free. And you can set it on a monthly, weekly, and daily. Anyway, that crossover predicted a nice swing up we have the macd crossing down the stochastic rsi was in this overbought and now it came back around that's an indication to go down and the rsi pointing down anyway i think we're in a bear market starting around january 1st and so i'm going to play it bearish and this is market is very volatile lots of swings it's hard to play this by the day Look at this swings up and down. It's hard to pl play it with any kind of accuracy. So if I think that the recession is going to go to 2024, and that's taking care of the 2022 elections and the 2024 elections, because I think this re recession is based on the COVID recovery, the inflation, which which we would have had inflation to depend, no matter which which regime we have in Washington. But there are going to be a lot of blame going around for the next two or three years. And the political situation is not going to be good. And there won't be any optimism until 2024. By that time, we should have our supply issues. The war in Ukraine should be over. Our production should be starting to come back. We should be doing a lot more manufacturing in the United States. We have a lot of work to do. But if I think this is going down, the 2024, that's what I think. You can think whatever you want to think. By the way, Stock Planner Channel is an education channel that we do our own due diligence. You have to learn how to do it yourself. That way, you don't have to depend on anybody on the internet to give you singles or tell you what to do. And if you're following somebody on the internet, that's a very dangerous thing to do. You have to learn it yourself, develop your own strategies, adapt from some other people on the internet, adapt from me. You might like the three indicator strategy. Adapt, adapt it, make it, make it your own or find an indicator that you like better. Anyway, I'm playing this down. And so I'm going to use an option, invest about 500 bucks, and see what happens. Let's make a guess. Then let's go back to the, let's look at the weekly. And I already drew this little box to where I think it's going to come down to. And I did that on the monthly. But it's based on the fact that it would be a pullback to where it was at the levels, previous levels. And it'll occur between now and 2024. So let's see if we can go ahead and see what that is going to be about. That would be, a, if it goes down to the, that far, it'll be 200. It's now at 412. Let's say it's going to go down to 350 here, right about there. Let's see if we can make a, a, a um, deal costing around $500. That if it gets down to that 350 level, to this level here, in the next two years, we'll make some profit. And we're hopefully going to make 10 or 12% a year. Let's see what we got, can do. Option strat is a, simulation tool for options if you don't know a lot about options this might be a great place to start we think it's going to go down and so i'm going to look at a bear call spread which is an a credit spread in other words it, i by taking this play i can put some money in my pocket i'm going to look at spy and i want to go out to january of 24. it's currently trading at 411 and i said this is a short strike and this is the, the you, when you do a credit spread you 
you sell us a call and buy a call. And we're going to put this at 350 because that's where we think it's going to go. And we'll put this at, we don't want to spend about $500. We'll move this down to 355 That's $5 wide strike uh, spread. Two strikes, $5 apart. Gives us 500 margin. That's you're not borrowing this money. The only it's it's in reserve in case you need it. You get a net credit of three fifty four, and a max loss of one forty eight. So you're risking one hundred forty eight dollars really for a possible three fifty four. The break even is three fifty three, and if it gets down to three fifty three, let's see what we we got. Is it, it do we have? Can we take some profit? Three fifty three. Let's say it's right in here. Between here and here, let's, let's take the low one. 353 is there. So if it gets down there, anytime, we could take profit of about 90 bucks. 90 bucks with a risk of 146. It's six, 61 percent, 61 percent profit. That's good enough. It's easy enough to do, and you can set it and forget it for a little while, and relax, and let the market do its work. Again, if it goes in your wrong direction, your max loss is going to be 146. If it goes up instead of down. And you have nearly two years. 1.7. What do you think of this trade? Good risk reward? Not too costly? Long term. If you're a beginner, trading longer term or leaps, it a lot easier than trying to do option trades a week or two out. There's just too much volatility in the market right now. Anyway, like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the flip. Happy trading. Taking a strategic look on the SPY or the S&P 500.